Alrighty, so today I wanted to use Arthur in the back line just because I remember getting a comment whenever he first came out and I remember the, whoever commented was saying that like he's cool and all but why would you use him up front? Why wouldn't you just throw him in the back? And I mean he does work in the back so why not try it out I guess. Uh, I guess the big takeaway here is that our human allies are going to be getting HP or yeah max HP increase. Um, I am going to be using a full human team so we're getting 30% HP for every human on the or 10% for each human on the field so 30% overall and then uh, allies crit defense increases by 5% for every debuff affected uh, effect applied to them. I'm this is like a huge run on sentence here, so I'm not entirely sure if this part still works in the back. I assume it does, but it's a max of 10. Uh, and yeah, our CC's not the greatest because he's only 1-6. You can only get him 1-6 right now. I do have him maxed out on cosmetics and everything, but um, I don't know. These two do not seem to have the greatest CC, so we're just going to see how it goes. I figured Nalpha Me was going to be a good um, like taunt sort of tank unit for the team just because I guess... Typically, I would use Ex the red Excalibur Arthur in this scenario if I was going to run full humans. And I t technically, I could use Deanne, but she's not a human, so we would get less max HP. So I figured we would just try this out because it's full human team and kind of just see how it goes. Um, very, very interesting team he's got going here. Uh, who is his Tarmio link on? Out of curiosity. Okay, it's on King for whatever reason. I'm pretty confident that we can kill King. We're gonna try it. He might have uh, evasion food here, actually, because of the CC. Okay, actually works out for us. Could just be a bot. But uh, we do have Nalpami Stance, so that actually works out really, really nicely. And we also have Roxy's passive for the extra damage for crit hits. So that also works out pretty good. Can I get another Stance, please? No, couldn't be me. Um, all right, so... We already have a debuff on Roxy. I'm going to check her um, stats after this one. I don't think he has a way to put on debuffs. Dude. I mean, I know he didn't have true magic or anything on, but actually, like, legitimately, like, zero damage. <laughs> All right. This is with true magic. Single target on now for me. Tanked it pretty well. I, I mean, he obviously did quite a bit of damage. Uh, we do have a 5% increase on crit defense. So, that is very telling. Um, hmm. I'm going to go for... The, mm, I'm going to go for this play. Um, may, I'm, I maybe shouldn't have used it on... On melee of all things, but I know that Escanor can't be lower beyond a certain point, so I thought it might have been a bit of a waste. We get a level three Nalfami card. Depending on the cards he uses here, I think this is a real player because he's actually moving cards around and stuff. I think. Or did he just merge cards? I'm, I might have just missed that one. Uh, we are gaining stacks on Nalfami though, which is really, really good. So let's go ahead and. Uh, hmm. Let's hit him with this. I really need to kill here. I think, because I don't have a stance on, I think Roxy will do more damage. Oh, I, I think we're fine, nonetheless. Because, <laughs> yeah, the passive proc on that brought him down to, like, little little tiny baby HP. So that, that should be fine. Uh, how much is he going to do on Escobar here? Okay, not too, too much. Honestly... I feel like Roxy's not actually doing as well damage-wise as I'm used to her doing, I guess. Uh, depending on if he gives me any more stacks here. That was definitely a merge, right? I'm pretty sure this is a real player. Tanking. Tanking. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of like debuffs on or anything like that, so this isn't maybe the greatest team to showcase it with, but uh, either way... Um, let's go ahead and throw the Roxy card out because I think it would do better. Well, it might not do better than the Bond card, to be honest, but hopefully this does a really good amount. Yeah, okay, a really good amount. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what I asked for. I think maybe the Bond card would have done more than that. I mean, I know that she's going to be guaranteed to crit, so she's going to proc her passive, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it just doesn't, uh, doesn't seem like it's doing that much damage. At least... I don't know. Ooh, okay. That hurts a lot. Oh, my God. 
All right, well, worked out. Uh, moving on. Alrighty, okay, we have a demon team, which is prob- Yeah, he out CCs me. This is- mm, this is gonna be... Bad, <laughs> I assume. Um, it's individually for the debuffs, so, like, this is- This right here is gonna give each character 5% defense, uh, or crit defense instead of it being, like, a stack of overall debuffs on your entire team kind of thing. So, ah, that worked out kind of nicely. We have a, a, a good setup here for hopefully a turn one kill. Um, I'm really low on Bon, um, and I, ugh, I can't, I can't debuff and kill here. I'm hoping, here's hoping, ooh, he has a lot of, he has a lot of darkness stacks already. I, I completely assume that we're not going to kill and... We're gonna drop the ball and the, the, the match is gonna be over. He's got, he's, because he went first, the darkness stacks and everything gave him quite the, uh, quite the advantage. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, dude. Oh my God. Roxy is God tier. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I don't think I said it already. So just in case I didn't, if you're new to the channel and you want to hang out and you want to enjoy, enjoy your time here, watch videos and stuff with me, uh, or of, of me, I guess that's kind of weird. Um, we're on the road to 15 K. So if you want to, you want to hang around, feel free. All right. In fact, nothing crazy. We have two stacks on Bon. Um, yeah, that's, that's about what I was expecting to be honest. And he's killing Bon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I uh, he's not even he's not even critting on me, so it's not like the crit defense was gonna save me there. Level three merge. I'm like half HP though, and he has his ultimate. Um, I I want I want to believe <laughs> that Nalfami's gonna do some decent damage here with this one card, but I'm honestly not. Not a hundred percent sold on that. Yeah, not what you want to see, really. Uh, level three, but I'm at like half HP. I don't really imagine it's gonna do too too much. Yeah, 82k, man. I don't know, man. If she's not like max HP, you literally, uh, you literally like just do not what you're you're wanting to do HP wise, uh, so or damage wise. But either way, uh, moving on. Alrighty, what do we got? Ooh, what is this? What is this monstrosity? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm legit. I have no idea what's happening here. Um, I'm going to use these separately, I think. We're going to throw that out because I think it's going to get patienced. Or uh, not patienced, but... I think it's gonna get eaten by evasion food. We're, I mean, we're getting a little bit, yeah. We're getting a little bit of variety. I really wanna see if I can go against a Bond team, cause I really think that a Bond team could be fantastic. Cause honestly, this Arthur is like a direct counter to Bond, which I think is very, very interesting considering he's like brand new. But I, I'm in geared PVP, or I'm in ungeared. Sorry, I, I don't even, I don't even know where I am. Uh, I'm in ungeared PVP, so obviously I think the um, the odds of finding a bond are a little bit less here. If I had to, if I had to guess, ah, there's no way I can get around that. I don't think. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to stance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this so I don't pop true magic. He's gonna have to at least attack me once. Oh, if that last little, well, I guess it wasn't gonna crit because of the shield, unfortunately. Um, we can get a level three Pierce card. Not really sure that I want to do that, really. Um, considering that the the debuff lasts now, you don't really want to go like that. Um. He's really stalling out quite a bit. He's just waiting for true magic like crazy. Uh, I... I'm kind of confident that I could kill somebody here and not have to worry about me getting deleted. 
I'm going to try to go for it because this match is going to end up stalling quite long. Um, if I attacked with... Whatchamacallit? Oh, this actually works out really nicely because of the shield, actually. And it gets rid of the, the buffs. So that was actually pretty good. Uh, we do disable ourselves. I maybe should have went for Liz there, but I just wanted to pop the res. We now... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, problem is, is I think he still has his AoE. This AoE is going to lower her HP enough to where it's going to be really annoying. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we tanked it. If he has another AoE, we're, we're screwed. Um, no AoE, actually. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure... I'm just going to push for the ultimate here. Unfortunately, she's going to get dissolved. That kind of sucks. I, I mean, I can't attack anybody else. He has Tarmiel Link on, which kind of sucks, but he's the only one that doesn't have the the thing on. Um, he doesn't have true magic. He is going to reset my ult move gauge, so that kind of sucks. But if he doesn't have another attack seal... I should be in a decent position. I think his Reflect ends this turn, if I'm not mistaken. Very little damage there. Oh. Oh, I thought I patience that I'm gone. That was going to be epic for a second. Um, I, I get another ta or, yeah, Stance, which is really, really good for me. Let me... <sighs> I really don't need to attack at all, to be honest, but I can get my ultimate back, <laughs> I guess, so that's good. It kind of forces him to attack a little bit. He's one card away from being able to pop true magic, so the odds of him attacking and then attacking again are pretty good. God, this match sucks. <laughs> I mean, this team is just like, ugh. So I'm assuming he's going to AoE here and probably kill the Bon off if I had to guess. Oh, it's a level 2? I don't have debuffs on these characters. Or, I, I don't have debuffs on him. It doesn't really matter about... Uh, the other one. Okay, so if I could get a Nalpami AoE here, that'd be epic. Okay, I can't. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that Pierce Hard breaks the shield here. Okay, fantastic. And we apply the debuff. We kill... Melion, I assume. Level 1 ult might screw me. Okay, I'm fine. Looking pretty good. <laughs> I might might be able to actually pull this off. <laughs> this is It's satisfying that I might actually be able to win this. I assume I'm going to get stunned here, which is going to kind of suck because I don't have any other... I don't have any other cards, really. I do have this, but I don't have debuff on anybody. Luckily, I have lots of stances that I can use with anybody and everybody, so that's cool, I guess. Um, Alright, sealing my singular card. Not really a big deal, to be honest. I I think I'm just going to move on. This, this match is really unfortunate. I can remove this ultimate, though, which is fantastic for me. But let's get rid of some of these cards. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it just in case you guys want to. I normally always put chapters and everything on these videos. If you want to skip forward, I'm not going to blame you. But I'm <laughs> I'm interested to see if I can win this. And I'm also interested, I, I don't know, just to see just how it, how it plays out. Um, the shield is going to be kind of annoying here, I think. Big shield. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um... I really want to go for. I think I I th I think I try to guarantee that I break the shield here, so I'm gonna use this attack first. I wanted an alchemy stance, but I don't think it's worth an alchemy stancing to be honest, because this is gonna do okay. Not a, not a great amount of damage. Oh my god, the shield is so annoying! Oh my lord. All right, well, she's going to heal completely back up to full there. That ends up being pretty much a wasted bond combo, which really sucks. I guess I should have went for the ult removal. I completely forgot about the ult removal, to be honest. That sucks. Yeah, I really should have done that. Oh, Lord. Well, this is going to get stalled out even longer. That's fantastic. 
Uh, we have stances for days, though, I guess, which is great. Um, let's go for this to get that of our hand. We can get Nalfami's ultimate here, and then I'm going to stance with Arthur last, so that way he's the one taking the heat, because we're max stacked on Nalfami. The one time he does more than, like, 5k damage. It's just funny. Uh, okay, so now he's the one taunting. Like, he should be the one that they target here, which is good for me. We have both ults in hand. We have I, we have a two-turn stance on Nalfami as well. Hmm. This is a level three stun, so that's a two-turn stun. My god, man. Oh, what an annoying person. I, I don't... I don't know. I'm, I want to say I don't think he can win this, but I genuinely don't know if he can or not. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Arthur stance because I don't think it's really going to be super useful. I'm going to move this and then move this, I guess, because I'd like to get a level 3 Alpha Me attack card if possible. We get a Bond card instead, which lowers their crit damage, which is good, but not 100% sold on that. Decent damage there, I guess does remove our ultimate. Uh, we, we may be able to, to merge for something decent here. If we get a bond combo, that could be really good. Oh, so good. Uh, let's get rid of uh, the old stupid woman, if possible. Hopefully this kills, because if it doesn't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so upset. Uh, let's move bonds cards before we attack. So that way those can still like stay in merging formation. Oh yeah, we kill her pretty easily. So that's fantastic. He's down to two cards a turn now, and all he can do is attack seal at the very worst, which isn't the worst thing in the world for us, because we have a lot of Nalfami cards, and Nalfami can attack without, uh, or with attack seal, so it's not a huge issue there. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. I am, uh, good job there, buddy. You've, you've stalled me out. You've really made this the worst experience possible. Jesus. <laughs> I, I... I hope you guys skip this, but if you didn't, I salute you for that. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Oh, okay. We have a bond team. Uh, it's a bot, unfortunately. He's using the like really good LV team, which is kind of concerning to me. Uh, I do have extra stances, which is really nice. Um, hmm. I'm going to go for this turn one to set up some damage to hopefully be able to kill Deanne turn two. Because I genuinely don't think that I would be able to bond combo her turn one. Crit. Ah, if we could have crit, I got the extra extra damage off from Roxy's passive there. Uh, we get a level two, which I think we can guarantee the kill here. Because we can stance, Roxy, level two, that'll kill her. We don't have... I mean, we... Well, we have the Roxy AoE and Nalfami's cards are AoE as well. So that could potentially be an issue, but I don't know. I guess I guess now for me, now that I think about it, now for me isn't really the greatest unit for me to use with uh, Arthur in the back, just off the pure fact that he can't have more than one debuff on him, which I completely forgot about. Um, this is going to be a good test on like once he starts to hit my other teammates, like my other allies. Are they going to actually take the crits very well? Because we already have three debuffs, which means we're at 15% um, crit defense so far on both of these characters. But I guess it just depends on how he utilizes them, because it's only a two-turn debuff. He's going to apply more right here, though, which is really nice. The fact that Nalfami can't be bond comboed is fantastic, because the uh, the debuff gets off or goes off first. Um... So as soon as he tries to attack with the sever or the snipe card, it just immediately gets overwritten. So that's really good for me. Um, I really want to lower his his crit chance, but I, it's really not worth it in this scenario. Um, let me go for Bond's ultimate instead. We'll set up to maybe kill the Bond next turn with the ult because he'll keep the debuff on. So here's an ultimate. Uh, he's, I've not ranked him up at all, so he doesn't have any attack-related stats. He's got attack-related stat lowers from Bond. He's at, what, 10% attack-related stat lower, which isn't crazy. He's gonna increase his all stats. This is probably still gonna kill me. 
Yeah, it does a lot of damage, man. It's actually insane. Um, okay, he disables himself, so I've got that going for me, I guess. He still did a really good amount of damage with that. Um, yikes. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I guess I can't tank that um, uh, unless he's disabled, so I really don't want to rank him up again. I'm not confident that I can kill here, to be honest. I think maybe, best case scenario, I can potentially kill off the Zeldris and bring him down to two cards a turn, which could be really good. Please kill. Yikes. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> LV, very strong. You understand? You understand. Alrighty, we have a last match here, and he is running a Frowdren team, which is... I guess par for the course. We are just facing all the all the all the really crazy people today. Um let's go for the setup on the melee. If he's got mm, should I go for melee? I'm gonna go for it. I'm I'm assuming this is a real player. I'm assuming he has evasion food on. So if this doesn't connect, it does. Um, he could potentially cleanse it off with just one melee attack, which would be really unfortunate. Crit? Uh, if we would have crit there, I think that would have killed because of the Roxy passive. His crit chance, man, it is... Uh, it's a yikes. <laughs> it's, it's a yikes. All right, he moved cards. Ah, uh, and then he's using cards. So, well, that kind of ruins my plan there. Um, gonna give Nalfami a little bit of stack, which is, I guess, good in the in the grand scheme of things. Uh, AoE, actually not doing too good. I mean, it's a lot of damage, of course, but overall. Um, I think we can still kill him off. The problem is, is if I don't kill here, no crit. Uh, if I don't kill here, he's going to potentially cleanse an ult, but I, I doubt, because it's a, a bot, I doubt it would cleanse before it before it ulted, in all honesty, but, you know, maybe. <laughs> uh, in this scenario, oh, it was a real player! Why are you running evasion food? Okay, anyway, that's, uh, that's it. I honestly, I honestly don't think it's worth running him in the back. I think if you're gonna run him, you want to run him in the front, so that way you can fully utilize the passive. Um, I mean, maybe you could run him with a different team and it would be fine, but I don't know. I, I definitely, the Nalfa me was a little bit of a misplay, but I don't really have any other good human tanks that I could run uh, that would actually benefit the team because, like, he's also increasing damage dealt and everything once he puts the stance on and stuff, uh, which is really, really nice. I, I, I don't know. I'm not completely sold on it. I think um, the enemy has to be running a team that has a lot of debuffs for it to really make a difference, and... That alone, just getting crit defense, is maybe not as good as having a dedicated backliner who's either increasing all or like more of your stats or like whatever the case may be, like actually increasing damage dealt or um, just overall survival or whatever. Um, maybe just not the greatest backline choice, especially in that scenario. I'm sure there might be a team out there that's better suited for him in the backline, but I'm not sure. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know. Uh, but that's it for me. Sorry for the long video. That match really <laughs> has just boggled my mind but anyway thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys later